What up, dudes? It's time for a new topic of Ryan on Gaming. It comes from Henrique Santiago. Hey, Ryan, I got a topic for you. How much impact do you think games can have on a person's life? What I mean is a psychological impact, like on a person's mentality, the way they think, the way they act. For example, do you think a person who plays a lot of violent games can, not saying they do, bring some sort of aggressive behavior to their lives? I'd like to elaborate more, but I don't want to write too much. Thanks. Keep up. I shall keep up, Henrique. And... You know, Henrique, this is certainly like a topic like we sh probably should have done a long time ago. Like we've done probably like close to, I think I last checked, it's like we're like at 70 something topics we've actually done. We've been doing this for a long time now. And it's like, hmm, we never actually touched on like one of those big debatable topics, which is like, you know, games and how they affect people's, you know, uh, mentality and behavior and violent video games and, you know, that whole bullshit discussion, which is basically what we're doing right now. Uh, yeah, we never actually covered this, so... So, and thank you for keeping your thing short, even though you want to el elaborate more. Hopefully, this discussion covers what you want me to talk about. So, you know, the whole, you know, psychological impact thing. And I, I think the one thing to say immediately is that um, absolutely games do have an effect on people. And what I mean by that is, like, we as human beings, uh, you know, are affected by everything. Everything that we do, everything that we see, everything that we're exposed to, um, it, it impacts us in, in some way. And absolutely, that translates to behavioral, behavioral patterns. Now, the thing that I'd like to get to is that, uh, you know, for the most part, I think for a lot of people, and especially because games are like pretty much like the, one of the biggest entertainment mediums in the world now, if not the biggest one, uh, you know, like millions and millions and millions and fucking millions of people play video games on a daily basis for hours on end. It's gotten to the point now where, you know, 2016, it is a culturally culturally accepted thing to play video games. And nowadays, it's one of those things where we're like, oh, you don't play video games. Oh, that's cool. You know what I'm saying? Like, most people nowadays, like, play video games, you know? Like, unless you're, like, somebody that's, you know, say, really old and from, like, say, an older generation where you just never really got into the mix or something, if you're a young person, you've probably played a video game and you probably um, play video games on a sub somewhat regular basis at the very bare minimum, you know? Um, so when you have that many people playing games and it's become such such the norm, uh, it's pretty fucking obvious that they don't have any sort of negative impact. I mean, of course, if you want to get into the actual studies that you can Google with yourself, for example, so we don't necessarily need to, need to get super technical about it and dive into all these studies and bullshit, but the studies say currently that, you know, for the most part, yes, aggression is in relation to violent video games, but it's never been linked to any sort of violent case. Basically, there's no study actually proving that or no link being made there, so that's part of the whole technical mentality of it. And for the most part, I'd say that's true. You know, uh, it, like I said earlier, you know, absolutely, we as humans, we are affected in, in, in by pretty much anything we're exposed to. It's one of those things where, like, you picture, like, one of your, like, best friends and, and start to realize that you probably have picked up a few habits from them. Uh, maybe it's the way they talk, something, some phrase they say over and over again, or just, like, the way they maybe walk or something, you know, anything. You know, you probably pick up a lot of things from a lot of people around you without even realizing it. Same thing from like, you know, fucking like an obvious one is like your parents. You pick up a lot of things from your parents. Um, think of uh, when you were like a kid or something. This happens for everybody. Think about when you were a kid, you'd watch some TV show, like your favorite TV show, and you start picking up the habits from like your favorite character on that TV show. We all do. We all did it. And we probably all still do it today um, subconsciously on a level where it's like you don't even kind of realize it. But you know, you say you find this character funny, you, then you start to just like sort of slowly adopt that that habit of say how that person acts and it's the same thing for playing a video game um it might be something you see in a game you might play it and you might just get to a point where you just get influenced by it and I, that's what i think is like usually considering how many people play games it's more often than not a in no way shape or form a violent thing and aggressive thing it probably i wouldn't say beneficial but certainly in a way where it's like not harmful most people probably pick up habits that are just probably to probably like either quirky weird or they're trying to be funny habits you know it's like it's really hard to describe but i think you kind of get like the approach i'm getting at right now um i mean yeah i mean the, the whole thing about like the study earlier where it's like games do have a link with aggressive um behavior or something like yeah that's probably absolutely the case uh what i say it's like this sort of overblown you know conversation that you know legislator legislators and shit like to talk about and like the like you know old people that don't get video games and they think it's some like big deal or something like that no that's absolutely not the case whatsoever and again it's a numbers game it's more of a numbers discussion it's like what i said so many people play games it's such a culturally accepted thing um you've got it's just it's there's too many people playing them and nothing's happened 
there's no strong link, there's no viable evidence, there's no nothing. Like, I don't have to explain that. We all know games don't actually do any of that shit. So, it's a numbers thing. Yeah, absolutely. It, it probably, for people, yeah, there's that aggressive link, but it's just not to this overblown conversation that uh, we want to discuss. And it's kind of the thing where, um, this kind of goes into an even like separate, broader conversation where it's like, Oh, okay, well, even though some people still get, say, aggressive behavior from video games, how can we necessarily stop that? And it's like, you can't necessarily stop anything. There's no, it's basically fucking impossible to stop anything. Uh, like, the whole conversation, as of recent, for example, where it's like, uh, and this is going to, like, start an even completely separate debate, but this is, like, the only example I have right now. Um, you talk about, say, gun violence, and people want to say, you know, there's some people that want to ban guns or heavily, um, make it so it's it's tougher to acquire a gun or something like that and, and people like to get the conversation where it's like you can ban guns but it's not going to stop gun violence uh but it's a numbers game you're never going to stop gun violence but what can we do to like lower gun violence that should be like the the bigger uh broader conversation of it so that's kind of what it applies to what i'm saying right here uh, of course people are going to have aggressive behavior from it but there's no way to like completely eliminate that it's always going to happen um you can't completely eradicate anything so, yeah, I mean, that's just, like, kind of the whole idea, I guess. Kind of a shorter topic because, yeah, I mean, I, I, didn't want, I don't want to really get into whole, the whole technical studies aspect shit. We, we all know that's all a bunch of fooey, more or less. Uh, it's just uh, games are, yeah, we, we do pick up on these things. And I, I think for the most part, it's usually, like, a again, kind of a beneficial thing. Like, we all, we're just, we're people and... We just enjoy our things, and that's how they, uh, they, they, like, that's the thing. We, 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 we take after them. Everything around us we take after, and that's what molds us into the person that we are today. Henrique Santiago, thank you for that topic. Very good one. Of course, I can't give you too much credit, because, like, that's kind of, like, the big obvious topic we were, like, due to do that one at some point. And I'm glad we finally did it. Maybe we'll do it, maybe we'll touch on it an, uh, another time, say, a few years from now or something, when maybe there's, um bigger conversation pieces uh and examples to to bring to the table but for now i think we'll uh, we'll leave it here um if you have a topic that you'd like to submit i would actually love for you to submit it because i need topics for this show this is ryan on gaming and it thrives on your topics unfortunately i don't have that much of a creative mind i can't necessarily come up with these things on my own uh about you know easily 80 85 percent of these videos have all been your ideas so keep submitting them thank you all for watching and i'll see you all in my next video thank you. Thank you.